The second machine that uh, I've sent for is it's a fair size machine and it is this one and again this is US prices um, so this one is I would say about 85% assembled you know you've got no electrical work to do or anything like that uh, it's just really plug and play so I would suggest that this particular model from Saint Smart, uh, this is the Jinmitsu, that sounds Japanese actually, but it's Chinese. Uh, Jinmitsu, oh, what have I done? Uh, Prover XL 6050 Plus. Bit of a mouthful, but that's what it is. And it's a lovely machine. And it's, you know, it's like I say, it's, it's virtually a plug and play. This one's on the boat, on the way to me. Um, so let's have a look at this a second. So there's the footprint of it. Uh, it's 600 by 500 and it's got 115 millimeter. And you see it's got inches there as well. Uh, 23.6 by 19.7 by 4.5 inches or, or 115 in the um, in the Z and why I, I went for this one because I've seen some very good reports about it and you can get Cavco with this as well for I think it's three months of Cavco uh, Cavco Maker and don't forget, if you go for something like this uh, and you like Cavco, you can use my promo code after you've finished your three month or six month, whatever it is, um, with this machine and go straight on to my promo uh, and you get 5% off. Uh, off the Cavco program, that is, that you use with this. Uh, you don't have to use Cavco with this, but uh, you know, uh, it's probably the best one out there, that's why I use it. Um, so that's the size of the machine, and the big thing with this one is these are NEMA 23s as well. These are, I, I, I'll tell you what they are now exactly, uh, if I see. Okay, here we go. 4.4 amp and they're 3.1 newton meters that's ex that's the same ones as i've got on my amax over there so you know it'll really it'll really push uh, uh you know a full size router um now to keep the cost down what same smart have done they've supplied it with a 300 watt dc um, spindle now what they, they they've done is they've tried to keep this in the category that's why they, they kept it under 1800 dollars so it's kept into a certain category um, It's very, very well made, um, and it, it'll do the business, you know? Uh, it's, it's very strong. That's why I went for it. Uh, like I say, this is a very modern uh, design, not like the 6040s that you see, um, you know, on 
eBay or something like that. I, I'd steer, I would really steer clear of those. This is what I would recommend. Um, so this is the next step up. If you know, if you were, if you've had a 3018, uh, they actually make a 3018 too. Uh, so if you're interested in 3018, go to go to Saint Smart, and they've got a few of them actually. They're all pretty good units. But if you've done your time with the 3018 and you've got a bit of an idea of what you're doing and you want to move forward to a larger machine one that you, you could with this one as well you can um, you know turn out parts or you know sort of uh, <laughs> make uh, items to, to sell at your local market or corner shop this one will absolutely do it uh, so what they've done is, although it's supplied with this 300 watt DC spindle, of which I put one on the MIDI, exactly the same, they've actually supplied, or they supply, in the price of this, a 60, I think it's a 65 millimeter uh, housing so you can put a Makita router in alright so you can just go to your local store buy a Makita trim router and it will go straight in here okay uh, Makita trim router I think is about uh, 100 and I'm talking US dollars about 150 160 US dollars something like that and uh, they're very powerful they're 800 watts and you can do a lot of work with them. Of course the next leg up then for this one would be either a 1.5 or a 2.2 kilowatt spindle. So you can do a lot with this one. Um, and I would, you know, this is a modern design. It's only been on the market a few months really. Eh? between six and ten months so uh, you know they're just they're only just releasing it um, and you know I, I like it uh, for, for, you know for that particular size of CNC router it's well priced 1800 bucks you know American so I think in uh, about two weeks time two to three weeks time We'll be having a look at this one and uh, building it. And there's not too much building to it. Actually, you've just got to put put the gantry on and a few in the bed, um, and just plug the wires in. Really, that's all you've got to do. And um, so, anyway, that is what uh, we have for the future. You know, and that's going to probably you know with doing um, laser uh, videos as well that's gonna t I'm gonna be quite busy from now until Christmas and uh, I probably you know this is gonna continue even after Christmas um, because you know there's a lot to sort of put over to you I suppose if your new starts uh, of how to operate a CNC router. <laughs>